mean, I don't want to call it a freak show, but that thing is just a monster. I mean, it's an absolute beast. It's um, it's big, it's heavy, It, it but if you see what that thing dries over at 100 miles an hour, it jumps sand dunes, goes through rocks, snow, ice, mud, like it, it has the whole world thrown at it. And here we are at the uh, New York Stock Exchange announcing our great partnership with, with ICE, which of course powers the, the exchange and our new uh, Extremi uh, Odyssey vehicle, which is a, a new racing series that McLaren Racing has entered. It's all about sustainability and gender equality, and we've got some great partners, travels around the world, five races, uh, highlighting where climate has uh, impacted uh, the world. When this series was first announced in 2019, it was something that um, basically got my attention because it's something completely different. Um, there's not a lot of electric racing out there. Um, and certainly that year, there was only really Formula E, um, a single-seater series. But this was different. This was going to be highlighting climate issues in different places. Um, and having taken time off through my career to be able to go and visit all these kind of places where there are climate issues, um, this sort of felt like a natural progression to be able to do this. McLaren Racing has always been about pioneering and innovation and, and bravery and we think uh, as we enter this uh, next phase of the automobile and uh, hybrid and electrification and biofuels, we want to be on the cutting edge uh, of those technologies. What would be great to see is that it, involve, you know, it evolves into endurance racing um, and that kind of reflects what people want from their cars on the, on the road. At the moment, everybody's limited by the batteries and the mileage that they can do, but if you can have something that charges quickly, you know, now you bring in a new element, there's pit stops, there's strategy, there's longer races involved. That that would be a really cool thing to see. I still am a big believer that racing has changed our lives in, in, in developing and, and pushing the boundaries of cars over the last hundred years. And that as the world transitions to a more, um, uh, more EV on-road type presence and more manufacturers pledge that they're just gonna be selling EVs in the future, if racing is going to survive, we need to learn how to race EVs in a way that makes sense.